Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what my kids are taking for lunch all week long. I started off on Tuesday, so let me insert a clip of Monday's lunch real quick. My daughter is having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with doggy bones, apples, and trail mix, and she ate about half of that, and then my son has a charcuterie style lunch. He has hummus, crackers, mango, strawberries, vanilla wafers, apples, and pepperonis, and he ate all of that. Now, moving on to Tuesday's lunch, they are going to be having some mini burgers. So here in their thermos, I have two mini burger patties. And these will stay warm for up to five hours as long as you preheat this thermos properly. Now, this morning I was rushing and I didn't preheat their thermos all the way. And my son did say that his burgers were cold by lunch, but he didn't mind them. He actually still ate both of them. He said they were really good. They both have special sauce in these little containers. Special sauce is just ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. And they like that on their burger. He also has some Cheez-Its, yogurt with cinnamon, and then a little fruit bowl. And my daughter also has two little burger patties. I just have the bread and cheese on the side. There's some Pringles, apples, yogurt with cinnamon. And then she also has special sauce with some cheese down there. If you guys are looking for any of the lunchbox items that you see in today's video, make sure to check out the description box. I'll be sure to have my Amazon storefront linked there. Now they both have waters for at their desk and then an afternoon snack. For my daughter's snack, she's going to be having a granola bar, which I just have in our tiny twinkle reusable pouch, along with a banana, which I just wrapped the end of it so that it doesn't brown. She also has a napkin, a note, and this spork to spread her sauce. Now, I forgot the spork in my son's lunchbox, but I went back and put it in before we left. For his afternoon snack, he's having craisins and some Nilla wafers. And then he also asked me for some hot fries with his lunch, so I went ahead and gave him that. And he has a juice down there and his water for his desk. And that was all for Tuesday. We will be back in a little bit to show you guys how the kids did with their lunch, so make sure you sit tight. Hey there, we're already back and the kids are home from school with their lunches. Actually, my son forgot his lunchbox, so I'm only showing you Anaya's right now. And I'll just insert a clip of my son's in a little bit. My daughter ate one and a bite of her sandwiches. She ate some of her yogurt, some of her cheese, all of her Pringles, and a few apples. I was actually really impressed that she even ate one of the whole mini burgers, so I think she did really well. And then here is my son's lunch. He also did really well, which was no surprise there. He basically ate everything except a few blackberries, which I can always expect from him. As I said, he did tell me that day that the burgers were a little cold, but he didn't mind them. He actually really enjoyed them. So I'm not sure if it's something I'll do again. And if I do, I'll make sure I preheat my thermos properly. But we'll see you guys back in a little bit for Wednesday's lunch. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Today I'm packing the kids up some snack boxes because they're just having sandwiches at their lunch. It's running a little low on groceries, so I went after I dropped the kids off to pick up a few things. My daughter has a peanut butter and jelly dinosaur sandwich, some cookies, veggies, a baby bell cheese, and some oranges. In these little containers, I have some ranch for their carrots and broccoli. Side note, my kids are not big veggie eaters. I'm sure you guys have seen that before, but I do like to put items in their lunch boxes for exposure. My son has a whole orange, mango with avocado, some pretzel sticks, and veggies with ranch. And then his little sandwiches are on skewers. There's turkey, cheese, lettuce, and bread. And that is what I packed them for Wednesday's lunch. They also each have an afternoon snack, and I put a juice box in each of their lunches. I also like to include a napkin and a note in their lunches, and we will see you guys back in a little bit to show you how they did. All right, we are back home on Wednesday afternoon and my son ate everything besides his craisins for his snack. He really hasn't been feeling those, so I probably won't be giving them to him again. And then his lunchbox, he did really well. He actually said he ate some of the avocado, but it wasn't his favorite. And he tried a piece of the broccoli, but he didn't eat any of the other vegetables. And that's okay. They know there's no pressure around eating foods in my house. He also left the little bits of lettuce off of his sandwich, and that's totally fine with me. He did really well for lunchtime. And then here's how Anaya did for lunch. She ate all of her snack, and in her lunchbox, she left her vegetables and her orange. 
<laughs> Plus, I think she only ate the chocolate graham crackers, which is totally okay as long as her belly was full while she was at school. I think next time if I make her a little snack box like this, I'll be sure to put in a third peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but she normally only eats half, so I figured that those two little ones would be okay. But now I know she might eat a third one as long as they're cut out like a dinosaur. Hi everybody, happy Thursday. For the kids lunch today, they are having chicken nuggets. So this is what their lunch boxes are looking like. They have a go-gurt, banana, some alphabet cookies, cucumber and carrots, and then in here, smiley french fries and some chicken nuggets which i kind of jammed in there because these only fit about five nuggets and two fries so i want to make sure they had enough so i just shoved them in there and then he has a juice box he has some special sauce to dip his nuggets in and then Noah wafers for his snack anaya also is having anilla wafers for her snack she has an apple juice and she has everything the same, except she also has a baby bell cheese, which Nova doesn't like. And I'll just go ahead and leave that. But yeah, that's going to be their lunch today. And we'll see you guys back in a little bit when they get home from school. All right, you guys, we are back home. It is Thursday evening, and I wanted to share with you guys what was left in their lunches. My eight-year-old said he ate most of his lunch besides the cucumbers and carrots, which is totally fine. Let's see. Yep, he ate everything. He left his napkin and his banana peel, and that was it. And let's see how my five-year-old did. She said she did not like the little potato fries, which is okay. She did not touch her cucumbers, and she ate her go-gurt, half of her baby bell cheese, and I don't even think she touched her banana. <laughs> let's see how she did in here. She just left her little smiley fries. And both of the kids said that their chicken nuggets were still warm at lunchtime and the french fries were warm. And my eight year old really enjoyed his fries and nuggets. So that is something I will definitely pack again. And we will see you guys back for tomorrow. Good morning, we made it to Friday and the kids are having field day today. So I packed quite a hearty lunch. That way they are nice and full. They're gonna be playing outside, doing all kinds of different things. So. I started off my picky eater with a Lunchable. She has some crackers, bologna and cheese, and then a Reese cup for her little treat. She has some apples, grapes, and a granola bar. I also gave her a Go-Gurt. And then in her snack bag, she has some Cheetos for her snack today. She also has an apple juice for lunch, and then her water bottle, which she's already drinking. And then my eight-year-old asked to get lunch at school, so I'm just packing him a snack box for at his class. He has some peaches, apples, pepperonis, and some Cheez-Its. And on Fridays, they normally do cheeseburgers at school. So he'll probably have a cheeseburger and whatever drink they have in the cafeteria. And then he has his water for his desk. And yeah, that is Friday's lunch. Like I said, they're going to be having field day. So I know they're going to have such a fun day. And I hope they eat really good. And then we will see you guys back a little later to show you how they did. Hi everybody, we are back on Friday and I'm just sharing with you guys what the kids ate for lunch. So we'll start over here. My daughter ate all of her snack and then she ate all of her go-gurt and in her lunch box. Wow, she did really good. She ate a lot of her apples. She did tell me in the car that one of her friends ate her grapes, which is fine. She ate all of her granola bar, bologna, most of her cheese, and then her Reese cup that was here and she ate a couple crackers. So she did really good for lunch. And she also drank all of her juice that was there and most of her water. Like I said, they had field day today, so they played outside all day. So I definitely expected them to eat pretty well and drink all their water. My son drank all of his, and then he had a snack because he ate school lunch. He told me they had pizza. So I'm sure he ate really well for lunch. And then he ate all of his snack and drank all of his juice. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see another video showing a week's worth of lunches for my kids. I know it gets difficult to pack lunches every day. I've even been struggling with it and honestly we're only on the second week of school so it's hard to come up with different ideas and I like to watch these kinds of videos myself so I hope I gave you guys some ideas. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of these videos we're going to be posting for back to school and have a great day.